welcome back to Bettina and Max play Doki Doki Blue Skies. Right now we are entering in a, from a cliffhanger from the previous episode and there's no music. We just rescued Monica from the roof. Not rescued, brought her back down, just talked her down from like feeling upset, I guess. Yeah. She <laughs> wasn't in danger, but we, we, we good. Yeah, everything's good. We finally arrive. I squeeze her shoulder as she takes a deep breath and walks in. <coughs> There's the music. Ah, they're back! Yuri and Sayori hur hurry over to us, looking worriedly at Monica. Meanwhile, Natsuki remains standing off to the side by herself, arms folded. The music sounds really concerning because, I mean, if you didn't see the previous episode, the festival went horribly, like worse than we could have ever imagined. I mean, no one died, but it was still awful. Yeah. Yeah, second worst thing that could have happened. <laughs> <laughs> Basically. Hey, you guys. I'm alright, really. Taking some time outside helped clear my mind, and I'm feeling a lot better now. Not to mention, Mankara was a real help, too. I'm relieved. It was a frightening prospect to consider losing our club president. Yeah, and now that everyone's calmed down, we can talk things out. Natsuki, why don't you come join us? Ugh, fine. She drags her feet as she makes her way over to us. I notice Monica fidgeting with the hem of her skirt and smile reassuringly at her. Okay, so I'm here. Natsuki's eyes dart up to meet Monica's for just a second. <coughs> so, uh... There's an awkward silence as Natsuki's voice trails away. Sayori raises her eyebrows at her, causing the smaller girl to return with a glare. I think what Natsuki means to say is that she just said all those things in the heat of the moment. A crime of passion, as it were. So I guess Sayori and y Yuri uh, both talked to Natsuki for us. Maybe if we'd sided with Natsuki, we'd be able to talk to Natsuki and they'd talk to Monica and like we'd still be able to reach an understanding. Oh yeah, that probably would have been the change. Yeah. <sighs> Hey, jeez, I can speak for myself, okay? <laughs> she says that. Well, then but... do it. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to get this over with. What I wanted to say was that I didn't mean it, I didn't mean it when you said you were a bad president. I mean, I guess it's pretty clear you care about a lot about the club. Sayori nods vigorously at her, egging her on. Just that those jerks pissed me off so much that I blurted out random things and needed to vent. Well, I won't lie. It does seem like you always get special treatment because you're so popular, Monica. Then again, I wouldn't know what you were going through. You're on a totally different level from the rest of us. <clears throat> Natsuki. She's very... That's a very mature, like, way of, like, saying what she's feeling, gotta say. Yeah, it's very unexpected. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, that's all I guess. I've always seen you as a friend, and uh, I hope you'll still be see me as one, too. Oh, So sweet. There's tension in the air once again as we anxiously await Monica's response. Natsuki shifts back and forth on her feet, looking like she almost wants to run away from the scene. Thank you for saying that. I'm not going to lie either. Your comment doubting my presidency hurt. It's definitely not true, though. You're a great president, Monica. Yeah, you brought all us all together. Without you, we wouldn't have become friends, and I wouldn't have been introduced to the world of poetry. It's an amazing feeling to be able to talk to like-minded individuals. Such a Yuri thing to say. Yeah. Yeah, as far as presidents go, we could definitely do worse. <laughs> Backhanded compliment. Jesus. Just give her something, Natsuki. <laughs> <laughs> what if, and so what if you nudged us into the festival? 
I guess uh, it's only normal for the president of all people to want the club to grow. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I guess that after all that, I have no choice but to accept Natsuki's apology, eh? It's like, what, you won't accept it? <laughs> Could. It would be really weird if you didn't. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yep. <clears throat> That's certainly an understatement. We all turn to look at Yuri, surprised at the glimpse of a humorous side to her. <laughs> um, fun. Did I say something strange? Oh, Yuri, you're so funny. Now you funny, girl. <laughs> <laughs> I let out a breath I'd been subconsciously holding. It seems like everyone, everything's turned out well in the end. Or at least as well as they can, given the circumstances. Okay, everyone. Fair. <laughs> And with that catchphrase, everything seems all right in the world once again. Okay, everyone! Is it catchphrase? <laughs> I mean, she does say it every single day. I guess. Whenever it's time to share poems. Yep. I totally forgot to mention this, but we still need to clean everything up. I'm sure that with all of us working together, though, it won't take that long to do. I'm assuming... I think everyone's just going to skip the festival and go home after this. I mean, why? There's other clubs to visit. I mean... Yeah. And food. Like, they probably have food as well. Yeah. yeah, and you can go beat up those yeah. jerks. What, what clubs are they part of? How about you ruin their presentations? Yeah. Be little Frickin' karma. I did. Yeah. I'm pretty tired after all the stuff that just happened. As am I. Same here. I think her of all people would want to enjoy the food, though. Yeah, I mean, she was the one that was most excited. Yeah. I wish I could leave too, but I have a shift in my class's cafe after this. It's alright, though. Everyone get moving, then, so you can all go home. Everyone starts cleaning up the room, myself included. Yuri and Natsuki start packing up the essential oil <coughs> setup and cupcake trays, respectively. Meanwhile, Sayori, Monica, and I pick up everything I, everything left on the ground and desks. It's like we're erasing all trace that the festival ever happened in here. <laughs> Although, I can't help but think that there's still lingering tension in the air, despite Monica's cheery expression. I have a feeling that Monica might just be putting the club before herself in this case. But the only thing I can do now is hope that everyone will feel better tomorrow. It'll be pretty nice to get home from school early for a change and be able to relax, although now that I think about it, I really only have anime and video games to look forward to. I guess that everything that's happened today is going to be plaguing my mind tonight. Okay, that's the end of that. And it's another day. Well, all right then. All right. I mean, he could have just stayed and talked to Monica, but I guess not. <clears throat> yeah, like support her with the cafe thing. Morning already. I groan as I fumble for the alarm clock. Man, I just feel like sinking into the depths of my bed. Is it natural to feel this tired after waking up? Um, yeah. Uh, probably in these days. Mm, that's called depression. <laughs> <laughs> or not getting a proper oh, night's yeah. sleep. Uh, fair. Oh, yeah. What's the time, anyway? 10.30 a.m.? Oh, no! Holy crap! I've already pretty much missed the first two classes! Should I even go to school today or just cut my losses and skip? Oh, my god. <laughs> A fierce battle <laughs> rages within my mind as I lay there. But after a beat, I leap out of bed and begin throwing on my uniform. I don't even want to go to school, but I strangely feel compelled to stick to my everyday routine. Guess Mom really trained me well. <laughs> no time to eat breakfast today. <laughs> to be honest, I'm usually too lazy to cook anything anyway. It's 10.39 now. I'm making good time. Hang on. It's Saturday. What? You son of a gun. Wait, no it's not. But it was Friday for the festival? The... Wait. No, festival was Monday. Did we miss a week? Is there a time Did skip we... that we don't know about? I think maybe? It feels like it was just a continuity error. 
Or maybe it's a dream. Woo. Oh my god, you're right. <laughs> As that realization hits me, all the nervous tension drains out of my body, leaving me slouched over and exhausted. Gotta say, though, that music that's usually plays between, like, Yuri and Natsuki fighting is great for, like, that stressful tension music. <laughs> yeah. Now that I'm already out of bed, I might as well do something productive today. Although I'll have to get changed into my normal clothes first. My street clothes. At least there's no school to get through today, although unfortunately the literature club is still feeling the effects of the festival. Thankfully, the awkward atmosphere is only subtle, but even I, a newbie, can see that everyone's been treading on eggshells. So, I oh, guess okay. so it is after the festival. And yeah, it's like, they just skipped like, like four days. So, maybe they haven't even written any poetry, they're just chilling in the club and, like, literally reading. Possibly, yeah. I really do hope that things can eventually get back to normal, but at this rate, I could easily see everyone drifting apart. I don't know. Monica hasn't spoken to me about things yet, either. I meant to talk to her about the festival argument the day after, but I just couldn't figure out a way to confront her about it. It's probably just me being too reluctant to bring things up, but I never really found the right time to talk. I should get out of the house for once and stop thinking about these things. Ooh! It's the foyer. Ooh. Ooh. It'll be a nice change of pace from staying on my computer all day. Oh. Don't call me out like that. <laughs> right. <laughs> Gotta get rid of that pasty, pale complexion. Haha. <laughs> uh, oh. Sorry. <laughs> I mean, I know I'm at least he, a little tan because I live in out. Florida, so... <laughs> But I know, like, those who live in the, uh -huh. in the middle United States are feeling that. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm more up north, so I'm definitely pasty white, right? Oof. I know. <laughs> At least the weather isn't bad today. It's a regular sunny day. Not too hot and not too cold. Just like nowadays. At least for me. Which is nice. Yeah. Kind of the same. I mean, it, it fluctuates. It's a bit, but like yesterday was really freaking hot, but now it's a good temperature. Yeah. It's just me, my bag, and huh, come to think of it, I don't even know where I'm headed to. But if I want to be productive today, the library's probably my best bet. And the library is probably where he's gonna run into Yuri. Yay! The closest one also happens to be near school, so I might even see some people I know there. Hopefully I can get some work done, but knowing me, I'll most likely procrastinate anyway. <laughs> Library! Cool! The, refre like the refreshingly cool air sends shivers up my spine as I step inside. This makes me miss my library. Can't go in because of COVID. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, same. Because I, I started going to the library, like, just a few months before mm -hmm. uh, the COVID yeah. happened. I remember, like, right before, like, they closed the library, they were saying, like, okay, you can get, like, as many library books as you can, and you don't have to worry about returning them right away, because we're not going to worry about due dates. So I got, like, as many books as I could. Oh, yeah. And it took it, me a well, while. Well, it stinks for me, because, like, I tried returning... I tried returning my books while they were closed, and they were like, no, you can't do it, like, everything's blocked off. Huh? And then, like, finally, they opened back up without me knowing, and then they sent me an email three weeks later. Ooh. Hey, your books are overdue. And I'm like, are you kidding me? God damn Why it. Why do you do this? That's rude. <laughs> uh, Sucks. It seems to be yeah. a bit of a slow oh, well. day for the librarians. Well, most people are probably out enjoying the sunny day instead of wasting away indoors. Clearly, this was written before pandemic times. <coughs> I shrugged myself. Yep. I shrugged myself. Knowledge is power, right? While everyone else spent their days frolicking outside, I studied the books. To be honest, though, I haven't studied for the exams yet <laughs> at all. Every time I try, my mind wanders back to the festival. Coming here was the right choice. If I was trying to work at home like usual, I'd just get in a bad move and s mood and slack off again. Hell, I can't help but think about it now. I wonder how everyone else is doing. 
Maybe I'll try to ask about it again during the next club meeting. As I scan the empty tables for the optimal seating position, I spot a familiar white ribbon perched atop a ponytail. Ah, oh, Monica! Uh -huh. I'd have expected that Monica would be out with her friends, but then again, she is an honor student. Ooh. Nice outfit. Oh, hey, Monica. I like it. I like that coat. Hmm. Hello, Mame Kara. She smiles and is as polite as ever, but it doesn't seem like she's very talkative at the moment. Didn't expect to see you at the library. Well, I had to study, but I didn't think I'd be able to get anything done at home. Oh, is that so? I may not be the most observant guy around, but she seems like she wants to be alone. Way to go, me. Uh, anyway, I'll see you later. Mm-hmm. Bye! Well, that could have gone much worse. It was like talking to a brick wall. To be honest, I'm not sure if she's actually being frosty or if I'm just overthinking it. Yeah, she is a little less communicative than usual, so I guess something's up with her. Yeah. Although she might just be busy studying right now, in which case I probably shouldn't bother her anymore. Suddenly, I don't really feel like studying. But since I'm here, maybe I should do some reading. I pull out Portrait of Markov out from my bag. I quickly flip to where I left off last night and begin reading. Ah, so he's still reading it to himself even, even if he doesn't read with Yuri. Yay! It's I really, like that. It's really quite a captivating book. If all the novels Yuri reads are like this, I can see why she'd be so absorbed in them all the time. Although maybe she's just rubbing off on me. Hmm. I'm in the middle of a chapter when I feel a tap on my shoulder. Oh, Main Kara, is that you? I knew it. Looking up from my book, I see Yay! Yuri. I see Yuri standing over the other side of the table, as if on cue. I knew we'd meet her there. A thick, dark book is snugly resting under her arm. Ah, uh, uh, I'm sorry if I startled you. I, um, I suppose I'm just a bit surprised to see you. <laughs> Give me some credit, Yuri. I can enjoy a good book, too. Oh, I, I didn't mean to insult you or anything. It's just... I was trying to make things more comfortable with humor, but predictably it fell flat. I should have remembered that Yuri tends to take those sorts of comments more to heart than other people might. <laughs> Relax. I was just kidding around. I... I see. <laughs> Yuri's shoulders visibly relax. Um, would you mind if I asked what you're reading? Oh, sure. It's actually Portrait of Markov. Yuri's eyes light up at those words. Ah, I'm very glad you're liking it. Um, that is, I uh, assume... <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Yuri. It's a really good book. Yuri sighs a little in relief. <laughs> then I stand by my first statement, Main Kara. Anyway, speaking of books, if you're enjoying Portrait of Markov so much, I'd like to introduce you to other books like that. Yeah, that'd be great. I have full faith in your taste when it comes to books. A small smile plays across Yuri's face. Actually, I just had a thought. I know a wonderful place nearby that we could go to right now if you'd like. Huh? Really? Is it another library or something? <laughs> I suppose it's related. It's probably a bookstore, so they can buy books. Oh, that makes sense. Well, lead the way. I wasn't doing much here anyway. Thank you for coming along, despite the short notice. It's no bother at all, really. Again, I can't help but feel amazed at how much Yuri's taking charge. It's really quite nice seeing her break out of her shell a little bit. She does have an air of mystery about her still, but I guess I'll start learning a bit more about her as each day passes. Yay. Ooh, it's a nice anime street. I like it. The two of us start heading away from the library. 
So, where are we headed, Yuri? Um, I intended it for it to be a surprise. Do, do you not like surprises? If so, you have my deepest apologies. Nah. Uh, it's fine. <laughs> I'm just curious, is all. This is like some sort of adventure, huh? <laughs> well, I suppose if that's how your imagination wants to interpret it, I'd be inclined to agree. Even though I cur I'm currently with Yuri, this situation reminds me of the times I used to spend with Sayori, back when we were kids. Always running around the neighborhood, acting like we were on some grand adventure. Sayori. I haven't spoken to her since the festival fiasco. Ah, it's nothing. I'm just thinking about things. I see. Well, we're almost there. Just a little bit further to go. like a park. Continuing onwards, we pass through oh. some trees until we come to a small clearing. Oh. Wow. Before us is an amazing sparkling lake. Gentle waves dance delicately across the surface, carried by the soft wind. Isn't it wonderful? I love places like these. Oh, it's so nice. It's lovely. I've always liked this pond. Oh, <coughs> you've been here before then. Mm, with Sayori. Years and years ago, that is. I see. Hmm. Well, Mankara, I don't know about you, but I find that this place is the perfect place to come to when I need a bit of space to myself. Oh? Do you come here often, then? Not as often as I did when I was younger. For a split second, a pained expression crosses Yuri's face. Some days were... were... um... She shakes her head. Anyway... um... Uh, perhaps I can give this to you. Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a moderately sized book. Here, I think you'll enjoy this one. Yuri, you didn't have to go out of your way for me. You didn't have to go out of your way for me with this? <laughs> it's okay. I've read this one so many times, it could do with a new owner. Besides, the best thing about a story is how it can be shared. No matter who reads it, you're never going to find two people with the exact same opinion. Yuri nervously plays with her hair. Uh, after you've been so kind to me, I wanted to do something nice for you, too. Oh, my heart. It's so sweet. <laughs> it's so cute. Oh. I see. Well, thank you very much. I'll def definitely give this a read and let you know what I think. I wonder what the title is. I turn over the book in my hands. The cover is hard and glossy, the pages showing small signs of wear. I guess Yuri wasn't lying. She must have read this book at least 50 times. I wonder what makes this story so important. As I turn back toward her, I notice how intently she's staring at the lake's gentle surface. Uh, Yuri, the lake is that way. <laughs> <laughs> when was the first time you came here? Stop. She looks over at me quizzically. Backstory. Mm. You said this place was special to you, right? I want to know why you feel that way. Right. She sighs and leans on the wooden guardrail. Oh, it's this music. I quietly stand by her side. Well, I suppose... Oh. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Well... I suppose one day, when I was younger, things were particularly hard. 
Do you ever have those days, Mankara, where nothing seems like it can be good again? That's pretty dark, isn't it? But it's relatable. Mm-hmm. So something about this, this place makes you feel better? Not quite. I just came here one day. I'm not absolutely certain how I found this place, but I remember running a lot. Before I knew it, I was out here. In the Sea of Chaos, things felt serene, however briefly they might have. Everyone needs a place they can call their own, somewhere they can decompress without worrying whether or not someone will intrude on them. And here is that place for you? Yuri nods. It's peaceful here. The sound of the water playfully lapping at the shoreline, the plush grass below, the nurturing trees above, providing a loving shelter to embrace me in the midst of the elements. Sounds damn poetic. It's the kind of thing I really <laughs> missed. Have you shown this place to anyone else besides me? Like, like your parents? Probably a sore subject. Yuri pauses. Yeah, not super intuitive. <laughs> Yuri pauses, staring in front of her at nothing in particular. I... I might have. This is the kind of place my father would have enjoyed. He used to do watercolors in his spare time, you see. Bro, how are you this dense? <laughs> uh, He's freaking dead. She's laying down dead. the hints. Oh. Like, there's a... There's a difference in, like, I like you hints versus my father is dead hints. He, and the latter is far more obvious. <laughs> yeah. It's like, he used to enjoy watercolors, uh, but not anymore. Yeah, oh my god. Does he not do it anymore? I feel stupid just saying that. <laughs> um, and she thinks he's stupid. Yuri doesn't respond. <laughs> no, no. Ah! Uh, <laughs> for oh my god, maybe you could bring him down here sometime. Um, it might give him a bit of inspiration he needs to get going again. Okay. Shut up, Cletus. <laughs> It was easy for me to miss, like, when he said, Oh, yeah, my doctors were pa were no, my parents were doctors. Did I just say my doctors were parents? Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, uh, that's, uh, that's a good idea, Mankara. I'll have to do that. Uh, is she not going to uh, tell him? Uh, I think that's more, uh, more cruel than anything. I, I think she... I think she's just trying to be polite and <laughs> make him not make him feel like an idiot while they're right there. Mm -hmm. Maybe she'll like, like text him later or something. Yeah. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Hopefully, he enjoys it as much as I am right now. This place really is incredible. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Yuri smiles softly at the dumbassery. <laughs> oh. Oh. Um, god. I'm glad. <laughs> Maybe sometime we could come by again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we could bring like a blanket and have a bit of a picnic. <laughs> that sounds nice. Why is he like this? We had no choice in this. Oh, God. I'll hold you to that. Ugh. Like, if we were given any kind of choice where we're like, oh, yeah, maybe you should bring him here sometime. Or is like, Oh, yeah, I'm sorry, whatever. I'm not assuming anything like he's alive. <laughs> I just... Uh, it, it's funny, because like earlier on, we were like, man, this main character is so much smarter than the original. You know what? I'm thinking he might be just dumb. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe he's got good emotional instincts, but then on the other hand, like other things, he's just dumb. He's terrible at social cues. <laughs> yeah. But he knows when his friends are having, like, bad thoughts. And, like, not feeling great. Yeah. That's good, at least. Yeah. Yuri giggles. I'll look forward to it. 
I feel my face flush at the idea. I think now they're more talking as like, we should come back here sometime and not like all of us together with your dad. So I was like, yeah. Yes. Yeah. A picnic with Yuri. There's something so playful about that. <laughs> I chuckled to myself at the image in my head. Yeah, that would be nice. <laughs> oh, what? The two of us continue to pass Whoa. the time looking over the lake. What time is it now? <laughs> I'm surprised at how content I am to just sit here with Yuri. Normally, I'd want to do something a bit more exciting, but right now, I'm perfectly fine with this calmness. However, Yuri begins to shift uncomfortably. Yuri? Is... Is everything okay? No, I'm trying to pretend that my dad's alive because you're a dumbass. <laughs> um, oh. she, dumbs, she jumps, apparently not expecting that. <laughs> ah, um, yes, I, um, uh, there's just something I need to do that I just remembered. She quickly gets up, nervously picking at the cuff of her sleeve. I'm, I'm sorry to leave on such short notice. Uh, please do not think ill of me. Yuri. Huh? I stand up to meet her eye level. You really... You got to work on your self-confidence. You... You apologize a lot for things that aren't even your fault. It must be so difficult having that going through your head all the, all the time. This is probably why you relate a lot to Yuri. And she's your waifu. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yuri like, this looks... Yuri... Yeah. Particularly is like... Yeah, this is basically just me. <laughs> Yuri looks around her, unsure of how to respond. You're really too kind, main Kara. I mean it. You're a wonderful person, Yuri. Yuri blushes slightly. Well... I... shall we head back now? Only if you promise you'll be a bit... kinder to yourself, okay? Otherwise, we stay in here. <laughs> I'll try. Yeah. Uh, I'ma hug you... <laughs> so you feel better. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for coming to see the lake with me today, main Kara. Thanks for inviting me. I had a lot of fun today. I'll see you on Monday, okay? Yes. See you then, main Kara. Let me know what you think of that book. It's very dear to me. Of course. Take care. With a polite wave, Yuri walks away. I'm happy I got <clears throat> to spend some time with her, but I hope she's doing okay. I feel like there's something she's not telling me. I'm probably just overthinking things again. Maybe I should just crack open the book Yuri gave me, which we don't know the title of, and he's still reading The Portrait of Markov anyway, so I don't know about cheating on a book. Yeah. And more time I think it's passing. a bit distracting. Mm -hmm. Do they have different phases of the moon? Did we talk about this? Oh, I don't know. Act 2, oh. Alone Together. In this twisted plot I was destined for, I'm an astronaut on the ocean floor. So that whole thing was Act 1? What? What is this? Um, yes. Uh, Purple. It's another Monday. Letting out a loud yawn, I drag myself through my morning <clears throat> routine. Why is this night time all of a sudden? It's not all pink and stuff. Maybe staying up to read huh. wasn't my best idea. Could this be Yuri's point of view? Now that I think about it, I actually can't remember the last time- No, no, it's manga. Oh, no. Now that I think about it, I actually Darn. can't remember the last time I stayed up to read something other than manga. Yuri must be rubbing off on me. Yeah, we're still the main character. This is just Act 2, with a different kind of background for some reason. Ooh. Lately, I've been eating breakfast more out of force of habit than anything. <clears throat> I mean, and anyhow, the pantry and fridge are starting to look like Sayori's stomach. 
which is empty. <coughs> empty. Yeah. yeah. Maybe I can ask Yuri to go shopping with me. What? That'd be nice. I finish my food quickly and make my way out of the house. So I guess it's Sunday. Or Monday? I don't know what day it is. After uh, a moment. Monday, yeah. Okay, after a moment, Sayori walks up to me. Hi, main Kara. She's bouncing up and down on the balls of her feet. Hey, Sayori. What's up? Up. <coughs> I'm just happy to get back into the swing of things. <coughs> what? Is Natsuki bringing in more, more cupcakes? I wonder if they took a break or something. Like, because wouldn't they be back into the swing of things, like, after the festival? Maybe they took a break from school. Yeah. Or, or maybe even just a break from the club. Hmm. Ooh, I'd like her to. But I'm not sure about that, given everything that happened. I don't know. I'm just glad to get back into a normal routine. Without all the hullabaloo of the festival, I mean. <laughs> yeah? What's so funny now? Hullabaloo is such a weird word. <laughs> you're a weirdo, Sayori. Nuh-uh, you're one to talk. And so the pot calls the kettle black. Eventually arrive at school and head off to our respective classes, Sayori sending me off by sticking her tongue out at me. As I approach my classroom, my train of thought takes a sharp turn as Sakurai smiles at me. It looks like he's only just arrived himself. Ooh, it's more of the teacher! Hey, Sensei! Yay! Morning, sir! Ah, main Kara. How are you doing? I forget what voice we gave him. Very excited, of course. Learning about my favorite subject with my favorite teacher. Who we don't see enough Brown of. Brown nose in it. <laughs> I'm going to tactually interpret as that. I'm going to tactually interpret that as non-sarcastic. We laugh at. I laugh. We enter. I laugh as we enter the classroom together. I know there's a missing word in there somewhere. It happens. As Sakurai opens his mouth to begin the lesson, some fast footsteps suddenly stop right outside of the room. <coughs> ah, Emmy. How nice of you to join us. He raises his eyebrows at her, a mischievous glint in his eyes. Cutting it rather fine, aren't we? I'm beginning to think you'd rather be out in the field than come out at one of my fascinating lectures. Sorry, sir. She starts bowing slightly, her cheeks red. I lost track of time and rushed over as soon as I realized it. Don't worry, I'd much rather be here. She walks over to her desk quickly as Sakurai begins class. Phew, that's everything done for the day. Ooh, there's a little class bell. As my last class ends, I let my feet steer me towards the club. I want to hear more of these, like, side characters because we don't get enough of them. Oh well. Yeah, I like Mr. Sakurai. Walking down the corridor, I absentmindedly peer into the emptying classrooms passing by. A couple of students chat to the teacher in one classroom, while a ring of friends laugh together in another. Huh, they look fun to be around. Wait, isn't that green-haired guy from the festival? Ooh, hallway fight! No. Oh. Please? Oh. Yeah, hard pass. It must suck to be someone in that class. Fortunately, all of the club members are in different classes. Speaking of which, that's Yuri coming up now. And, huh? Yuri's Yay. in there. Should I ask for her to walk me with... Should I ask her to walk with me to the club? Well, no harm in trying. Oh, harm. If the green-haired guy's there, it's harm. Uh. Hey, Yuri. a strange, albeit cute, sound she just made. Ah, uh, main Kara. Uh, sorry for my outburst. I was just surprised. <laughs> <laughs> You're good. What are you still doing in class? Everyone's gone by now, so she's the last one here. Ah, uh, about that. She motions towards a stack of textbooks on her desk. 
was the last one out of the classroom, and my teacher asked me to deliver these to the student council room. She hefts them up in her arms as she speaks, hugging them to her chest. I suppose I should get on that now. Could you let the others know why I'll be late? Aww. Hold on. I can help you with that if you want. Ah, uh, no, no, I can handle it. I can't ask you to take on my responsibilities for me. That's why not that's why he's not taking over for you, he's helping. He's not taking all of them. Yeah. Yuri This isn't a super serious request. <laughs> it's no sweat for me, really. It's really alright. I'd feel bad if I couldn't do even this myself. I mean, how heavy are these textbooks, girl? Yeah. Pretty heavy apparently yeah. <laughs> but they look pretty heavy you know they're really not so you don't have to worry about it additionally the student council room is rather close by so I'm guessing that she just doesn't want to bother me over this after all those textbooks can't be that light should I just take her word for it or go ahead and help her like a gentleman ooh okay we can choose this <laughs> Oh no, I don't know. Hmm. Why can't we save? I'll save. Wait, no, I can't. Where'd the save go? Yeah, that's what I said. Oh, oh god. Dang um, it. We have to choose one. At least it's not timed. Um, help her and be a gentleman or respect her as a strong, independent woman and let her handle it. Mm. I say let her build her confidence and let... Yeah or handle it, but I'm also worried she might drop it. Yeah. Which I... is gonna make me look like a jerk. <laughs> well, she wants us to leave it alone, so I'm kind of with you on that. I kind of want to let her handle it. <laughs> yeah, oh, I think okay. so. Well, uh, it's too late to save. If, like, it's all <sighs> blue. Like, if only we'd known to save. It's like, why? I guess because it's like we're on this track with her, it's like, okay, we know you want to be with Yuri, but so like, whatever happens, happens. You can't play both timelines. Can't go back and fix it. Uh, oh, that's fair. Mm -hmm. Alright, but feel free to ask for help if you get tired later. Yuri smiles gratefully up at me. Okay. Yes! I, I definitely appreciate your offers of help, though. But thank you for taking me at my word. This is the type of thing that I'd like to get better at handling myself. Yes. Seems like we made the right yeah, decision. Yeah, I called it. Um, as a sort of practice and self-sufficiency, if you will. Yes, she was serious when she said she wanted to do it herself. Phew, good thing I didn't take the books off her hands after all. Maybe I should call you the next time my, my teacher asked me to deliver stuff to another classroom. <laughs> Far. Anyway, I get it. And at any rate, I'm not the type of guy who automatically assumes that gir girls need help carrying stuff. Haha, <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. I'll have to admit, though, it does make me feel like a bit of a burden when people assume I need help. Ooh. Not to say that I never need help, but you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, I do. We set off down the hall, we, and soon enough... Uh, yeah. I don't know what you were trying to ask, but, I mean, we've been playing for 15 minutes, oh. and I'm not sure if we should end here, or... I think we could play a little more, unless you have something we can do. I... Yeah, my dad's needing help moving a couch, so... Uh, okay. Well, that's fine. We got a Sorry. short episode I, today, uh, so let me save. That's a good Listen, idea. I told him... I told him... <laughs> I told him yeah. that I was going to be recording, and he's still like getting mad. Oh. Alright, well, don't want to cause you any That's trouble, right. so uh, thank you guys for watching. I'm really excited about how the story is going so far. We're in Act 2 of Doki Doki Literature Club, apparently, so there's much more to come, I suppose. So thank you for being with us, Max, yeah. and we'll see how it goes next time. Yeah! Bye, everyone.